Nine News. Tonight, dozens gathered in Hebron to remember Stanley Crowley. The 22 year old died in a motorcycle crash on Christmas Eve. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons shows you the legacy Crowley's loved ones hope to carry on. He was, <laughs> he was amazing. He was hilarious. It doesn't matter who you ask. The answer is the same. Literally the nicest person on this earth. Stanley Crawley was loved. If you could give me one name to say, hey, who, who, who would the most people come out for for something like this? It would 100% be Stanley. And they did. A crowd more than 100 strong. Family, Connor High School friends, even past roommates bonded like brothers. He just became the light of our home. But that light gave its final glow on Christmas Eve. The 22 year old lost control of his motorcycle near a Florence intersection. Despite first responders best efforts, Stanley died at the scene. Devastated and far too soon. I don't think I'll ever do a Christmas again. Yeah, it was empty. Yeah, we didn't it, really have Christmas really. No. It was just all yeah. remembering him. Yeah. yeah. His presents are still under the tree. Friends and family say Stanley was the heart of it all. So what better place to honor the former Cougar than the heart of the field? He's very involved in, you know, with Connor. My name is Stanley Crawley. Uh, I'm a senior. <laughs> I play slot and safety. My favorite car is a Nissan GTO. He had his whole life, his whole life ahead of him. He just began. And that's what, yeah, that's hard. That's definitely hard for me. A star on the field and off. It's clear. Stanley's love for life shined bright. And though his community mourns for them, it isn't goodbye. I believe you are going to live on in the thoughts and prayers um, of, of every single individual here, and, and we will continue to love you. I would love for everybody to just remember his contagious smile and his laugh. And his blonde. Yeah, his curl. blonde, his blonde golden curls. <laughs> and Hebron, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.